I'm really excited about this exhibition uh, because it, it offers a really lovely representation of all of Clarence's different uh, styles of art making and different forms of art making. So this is a, not quite a full retrospective, but a survey of artwork made by Clarence Shivers, who was a resident here in Colorado Springs from 1979 to the time of his passing in uh, 2007. So we have a range of Clarence's work and he moved very fluidly across different forms of media and different subjects and styles of art making. So, so when one comes to the, the Fine Arts Center, you'll experience uh, 2D work, paintings, prints, uh, some of Clarence's sculptures that, that really range across subject matter from representational to abstractions. So you can really get a sense of how he uh, moved across different media and different interests. Uh, it's also really exciting because I think this is the first time uh, in quite some time that artwork, all this artwork has come back together. So, so we were fortunate to borrow works of art from, from Peggy Shivers, um, as well as from a network of friends and family of the Shivers, uh, who Clarence had given or sold artwork to over time. So there's a kind of the, a coming together of a large body of work that's nicely representative of all that Clarence has done. In the exhibition itself, we wanted to create a space that felt really comfortable for people, almost like experiencing art in a home-like environment. So you can come sit and, and linger with the art, enjoy it, spend time with it. There's a little bit of, of drama that goes into the construction of space to make sure that it is highlighting the work in ways that best represent the work and create a most comfortable space for the visitors who come to see it. There's a lot of creative decisions that get made in the process of organizing an exhibition or, or shaping the actual exhibition in the galleries. Uh, in this case, it, it was important to me and, and our exhibits team um, that this was not necessarily a white walls exhibition. We wanted the space to feel comfortable, hospitable. We wanted to sort of um, reference a home-like environment since a lot of these paintings were in the homes of family and friends of the artist. So in thinking about the layout of the exhibition, we, we looked at all of, of Clarence's work to try and understand how he operated as an artist. And, and it was clear that a straight chronological presentation of the work was not going to best represent how Clarence functioned. And instead, we thought about um, organizing the works of art around um, thematic interests that Clarence seemed to come back to over time. So when you come into the exhibition, you'll experience a section related to group portraits and how, and how Clarence experimented with form through or the arrangement of people and space where you might see cityscapes and landscapes or a section that addresses the civil rights movement, uh, which felt more um, true to form for Clarence and that he might become interested in something. And then over years, revisit that interest in, in very different ways. So, so it's the organization of the exhibition is meant to sort of amplify the intent of the artist. I think what might be meaningful to Clarence is seeing all the people that he's known over the years come back together through this particular project and to meet new people who might not have ever known of his work or he might not have ever met and, and to see that community forming through an exploration of the art and ideas that he has offered to us. Um, I think that would be really meaningful to him. You ultimately want to do right by those artists you're working with and for them to see their work meaningfully and authentically represented is, uh, it's just a humbling thing.